there's a saying that goes like this. If nothing changes, everything stays the same. But you know, I've found that that's not true. Sometimes there's bad situations and they can just get worse. Unless, of course, God intervenes. And I believe that there comes a time, and maybe that time is today, where you've got to stop any frantic uh, actions and concerns and whatever, and simply cry out to God for help, for God to intervene in your situation. Call on Him, and He will answer. You know, that point where God intervenes is one of the most amazing things that can happen in life. I love that. I call it the but God factor. Just that you could look at things and describe it and people can say this and uh, the headlines and the news can say that. But when God intervenes, everything changes. And the Bible, the Word of God is full of such instances and stories where things were dismal and bad and evil. But God intervened and then everything changed. I think of the disciples of Jesus one night spending a whole night fishing and they had no success. But then Jesus appeared and they had the miraculous catch of fish. It's, it's just a wonderful thing. And I would encourage you to make room for the but God that can change situations that's been looking the same for years um, and threatening to get worse. Invite the but God factor in. By responding to this wonderful invitation that I've come across in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. The prophet writes by the inspiration of the Lord and he says this on God's behalf to us. Call on me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you do not know. And so many times I find I land in places where I don't know what to do and I, I might even go on exploration and do this and do that and ask this friend and that one and, and sometimes the last thing we do is to really turn to God and pray and ask simply for his help. One of the mentors and fathers in my life always said the following, he said when all else fails try prayer. I love that. When all else fails try prayer and that is a response to that invitation from God. God is inviting you today to say Call on me. After you've now tried everything else and it didn't work, how about calling on me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you don't know. Something outside of your frame of reference will happen, will come from God, but God, and then things turn. And I encourage you that after you've asked and, 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 and called on the Lord, that you begin to thank don't wait for something to happen. Begin to thank Him for what He will show you, what He will give you, that you maybe have no clue about, but that God has got ready that can turn your situation around. And if I may say this, I believe with all of my heart and I've had enough experience of that, that when you reach that point, when you've called on God, you've, you've prayed, you've, you've asked for His help and direction, that He will show you as you thank Things that you don't know and bring that but God factor into play. That can change everything around. And take you out of that downward spiral of evil and bad news and nothing works to a different place. I believe and my prayer is today that His goodness will become the wind beneath your wings. That will lift you up, lift you out of that pattern of negativity. And put your feet on the rock where you may live and prosper and be a testimony to this world of God's power and goodness. I trust this will encourage you and help you as you put it to practice. Remember always, Emmanuel, God is with you. Please share and like this so that others can also benefit. God bless.